Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Mathematical Module in ComSol Multiphysics and the introductory video we have already uploaded where we talked about what are the things we can actually do using this mathematical module of ComSol Multiphysics. Today we will be talking about Laplace equation, how to solve Laplace equation with mathematical module. If you remember, we have already worked with Laplace equation in 2D heat transfer problem. Here we have a rectangular or square block where the temperatures of all the walls are different say T left, T right, T top and T bottom. And because of the temperature difference, there is a temperature gradient and that temperature gradient causes heat transfer and this heat transfer phenomena is governed by this equation. So we have considered it as a steady state problem uh, otherwise it would not be a Laplace equation for steady state it is Laplace equation and this is the equation and you can see if we work in two dimensional plane then we have only x and y coordinates in Cartesian plane and those are the second derivatives of temperature with respect to x and with respect to y. Now this particular equation, this is a second order equation because you can see the highest differentiation is 2 and that's why second order. However, there are two coordinates x and y. So second order in x and also second order in y. So this would be y, sorry. So second order in x needs two boundary conditions. Similarly, second order in y needs another two boundary conditions. So as a whole, we need four boundary conditions in order to solve it. And you can see those are the four boundary conditions. So if we have all these things known, then the problem is properly posed and we'll be able to solve it. Now let's go to ComSol and try to solve it. So I have already, I mean, I'll be taking the classical PDEs and you can see Laplace equation is there. We go to study and take stationary because I have already mentioned this is a steady state problem. Laplace equation is always a steady. So let me work in millimeter domain and take a square of say 100 mm length or side. Now what I do is I have to choose one material because for solving this material properties might be needed. Say this is copper actually this is a steady state problem so we basically don't need any property so even if you don't take any material it would it would work so material is not needed because you are not working with time dependent if you look at the equation there is no physical property so obviously physical property should not be required. So let us see. So we will not take any material. Now what you do is let us define the equation. So you can see it is asking for the unit. So let me tell you the unit of temperature is Kelvin. So let us put K so this will be the unit there is no source quantity so we can consider it zero unit is not zero unit is one basically if it doesn't have any unit this is one so i choose it one now we go to this equation so this is a laplace equation and i right click here for the boundary conditions and those are the dirichlet boundary conditions so we can take four such boundary conditions for four different walls so this is the second one again we choose another 
delete slate this is say for this and the last one for the right wall delete slate means the constant boundary conditions so let us arbitrarily take it say 400 kelvin this wall say 350 kelvin i am taking arbitrary values say bottom wall is kept at say 298 room temperature around and the right wall say at 200 so we have defined four boundary conditions and i have mentioned four conditions are needed here we have shown what are the we have actually defined the equation and we have also defined the units now let me build the mesh let us go with extra fine mesh yeah that's good enough now i click on compute so you can see after we compute this is how the temperature profile looks you will be getting the familiar one if i keep three walls at same temperature and one wall at different say this one i am keeping at 298 and other three walls i keep at 400 then you can visualize it in a better way so this is also 400 again i go to stationary yeah so this thing i mean this picture is uh, known to you and that's why i have re computed it with this particular boundary conditions that is your 400 400 400 and this is at low temperature how much it was 298 so as i have mentioned you can see there was no constant or physical constants and that's why we have not taken any material so one thing we have understood for solving laplace equation we don't need any material property we only need the boundary conditions so and obviously the boundary conditions might be dependent on material in a physical scenario we'll be talking about it in some other lecture on mathematics but this is not a scope here so yeah we have talked about how to tackle laplace equation in the next lecture i'll be talking about poisson equation but today i stop here uh, meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel because i'll be uploading more videos on comsol on python and also we are working on engineering mathematics thank you